Hey everybody, Mark Dawes here. And this morning I want to I tell a bit of a joke, but I want to start the joke with a question. Uh, and if you're one of my trainers watching this, or you've been in the course with me, then forgive me for retelling a joke you've probably heard a thousand times. But here's the question. How many legs does a dog have? And the answer, pretty obviously, is four. The dog has four legs and a tail. But let's say you and I, and everyone out there, we decide to form a committee, for want of a better word. And we decide, for the purposes of our committee, that the tail of a dog is now going to be called a leg. So we all agree, at the committee, that the tail is now a leg. So when we re-answer the question, or re-ask the question, how many legs does a dog have? The answer becomes five, for the purposes of our committee. Now, if that was tried and tested in the court of law, and we said, no, 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 it's not a tail, it's a leg, you'd probably be laughed out of court, because they'd say, no, 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 you, know, you can call it what you like, but it's a tail. A dog has four legs and a tail. Well, why am I telling you this stupid joke? Here's the reason. You know, and I've been doing this a long time. I'm coming across people now who say, we don't use restrictive techniques, we use rescue techniques. So I ask the question, is it the same thing? You know, are you applying a restrictive technique that may cause discomfort, harm or pain? Well, yeah, but they don't like the word pain and they don't like the word discomfort and they don't like the fact that we might be causing harm. But because we call it a rescue technique, it's okay. Oh, really? Okay. We don't teach control and restraint. We don't teach physical restraint. We teach positive handling and safe and effective holding. Right. Are you restricting someone's liberty? Yes. So you're restraining them then? You're holding them against their will? Y yeah, yeah, sometimes. So it's a restraint then? It's a restriction of liberty? Well, y yeah. You know, if that goes to court, they, they're not going to say, well, we don't do restraint. You know, we, we do comfortable holding or, you know, safe handling. They'll be asked a question. Did you use force to restrict someone's liberty? Yes, then that was a restraint. It was a restriction of liberty. End of. We don't use a basket hold. We use a wrap, or we use um, a safe holding technique, or a small child hold, whatever it is. Is it this? And you demonstrate the hold, and it's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, but we don't call it that. Why? They don't like the name. It's the same damn thing. Now, you know, we're living in an age now, in, in our industry, you know, in the use of force world, where... You know, we're having to change names for the sake of keeping people happy and it's wrong it should be what it is and the reason it's wrong is this and I've spoke about risk assessments on previous videos if you go back to your risk assessment the risk assessment says there's the risk to control that risk you need to do that it doesn't matter what you call that if that's what it is that's what controls the risk and it's really important and I just want to you know put one more point out there before I end this video is you can walk around every major capital city in the world and you'll see statues. You'll see statues to great people. You'll see, you'll see monuments to soldiers. You'll never ever see a statue to a committee. Remember that. And having been in court enough times, more times than I actually want to recount, the sad part about this is, is when someone is actually being tried in court, when someone goes to court because an allegation is made against them, the committee doesn't turn up. In many cases, the training provider doesn't turn up. And the company doesn't turn up either. You know, it is what it is. You know, how many legs does a dog have? Four. It has four legs and a tail. Have a great day.